Stone Door says, does the conventional wisdom of dollar cost averaging and don't reuse addresses need to change? People with many small UTXOs seem screwed as fees increase. Um, so, so glad you asked that because this is a very, very critical issue that has gone unnoticed by many and is not being discussed. And uh, as you say, the conventional wisdom has misled a lot of people into making this mistake. So dollar cost averaging means that it's best to buy your Bitcoin um, at regular time intervals, regardless of price. So rather than putting in a lump sum of whatever you have now, uh, putting in a bit at a time, say investing every Monday afternoon, regardless of what the price is doing, will give you a better on average price, uh, the dollar cost average, meaning your cost basis in dollars for the acquisition of that asset. And it's a technique that traders use in many, many different assets. Um, not reusing addresses has more to do with um, privacy and security uh, than anything else, but often people combine these two things. The problem comes when people don't understand the next important step, which is just because you bought the Bitcoin every Monday doesn't mean you also withdraw it immediately. So the problem isn't combining DCA and don't reuse addresses. The problem is combining very small amounts, DCA and uh, address reuse advice with my advice of not your keys, not your coins, don't leave money on exchanges. And instead what you do is you buy every Monday and then withdraw every Monday. And honestly, it doesn't matter if you withdraw to the same address or not, um, because the problem of UTXOs exists whether they're in the same address or not. It doesn't really matter. Um, each withdrawal will be uh, at least one, possibly more, but hopefully just one uh, UTXO. And if you're withdrawing every money that every Monday, the tiny amount that you just DCA'd, um, you're going to pay a fee for that withdrawal. But then you're also going to end up with a pretty small UTXO sitting in your address. Same address, different address, doesn't matter. You still have a small UTXO. Um, and so you end up with this fragmentation you end up accumulating dust. And then when you try to spend that, you're like, oh, great, I have $1,000 in my account. Mm, yes, but what you don't realize is that you don't have $1,000, you have 10,000 uh, 10 cent UTXOs. And to spend 10,000 10 cent UTXOs, you need to make a transaction with 10,000 inputs. And that transaction is going to be a jumbo transaction, a whopper of a transaction. And the fees on that are going to be huge. And you're going to end up chewing up a significant percentage of your investment in paying for those fees. So how do you, we tweak this advice in a practical sense, right? Because that doesn't mean stop dollar cost averaging, and it doesn't mean leave all your money on a on an exchange is mean understanding the technical nuance and applying it correctly. And the way I would do it, and in fact, the way I did do it is um, if I'm dollar cost averaging small amounts, not in the hundreds or thousands of dollars, uh, and I don't want to have UTXOs um, that are small, um, you know, under, I, I would say anything under $500 in the current price uh, environment in Bitcoin is a small UTXO. So if I don't want to have uh, UTXOs that small, um, what would I do? Well, I can dollar cost average every Monday, but only withdraw once the amount that I have on the exchange is at a, a level, the balance that I have is big enough. Then when I withdraw, that is sent to me as a single UTXO of the total amount that I've dollar cost. I've still dollar cost average. My cost basis is still the every Monday price on average, you know, averaged out over however many, aver uh, however many Mondays I've been doing this. So I've achieved the dollar cost average goal, which is to, um, to smooth out uh, rapid uh, price fluctuations and volatility uh, and get a good cost in dollars on average for your Bitcoin. So I've achieved dollar cost averaging. And, and if I withdraw once my amount exceeds, my balance on the exchange exceeds I don't know, $500, $1,000, something like that, uh, whatever the number is for you, uh, the number that you wouldn't cry if you saw it disappear, 
um, but would also not create a UHCXO that's too small um, and incur too large fees. Well, then I withdraw. So you have to find that balance. W what is the balance for you where the UTXO is not small enough to chew up everything in fees, and um, but it's not so big in balance terms that if the exchange gets hacked, you're going to be losing all your savings, right? Um, and so DCA and don't reuse addresses are still good advice. And, and the not your keys, not your coins, don't leave money on exchanges is still good advice. But no advice is perfect for all circumstances. And just because you have advice doesn't mean you take the maximal position of each statement and then combine them all to create the maximally um, best scenario. That's, that's not how life works, right? There's nuance here and there's technical details you need to understand. So if you take DCA to the extreme and you take um, don't leave money on the exchange to the extreme and you take don't reuse addresses to the extreme, you end up with a very messy wallet with tiny UTXOs spread a lot of addresses and very high fees. Ethereum and the Internet of Money series. If you'd like to support my mission of bringing education about Bitcoin and open blockchains to as many people as possible under open, free Creative Commons licenses, please consider subscribing to my channel and supporting me on patreon.com slash A-A-N-T-O-N-O-P. Thank you.